So to get started, I just want to say I know I've already have my he, George is meeting with my um, sister uh, today. Actually, she's in charge. My uh, unfortunately, my uncle had passed. Um, you know, my we're helping my parents with the estate. And um, my sister's in charge of taking care of the house, and George is going to be kind enough to help him help her with that. So um, he's already going to have a meeting with my sister this morning. So I can tell you unequivocally, I uh, recommend you. So <laughs> going forward, uh, George, tell us a little bit about who you are and what you do. Okay. Uh, sorry for the. I'm at a car dealership waiting for my car, and I had to move because there's a lot of external noise. But I'm in a uh, an office now, so. Um, I can, uh, I can tell what we do caring transitions is we, uh, provide services for people who are, uh, uh, downsizing and relocating. We focus, uh, most of our marketing on seniors because of the, it's a stressful time for seniors. If, if anyone has been through a, um, a move where, uh, the house that you've lived in for 50 years, when, when it comes time to clean it out, it's just an overwhelming uh, chore. And that's where uh, the Caring Transitions team comes in to help help uh, with that. We sort, organize, uh, donate what could be donated, toss what needs to be tossed, and we run estate sales and online auctions for the household items that have a value to them. Excellent, excellent. So how did you get into this type of role? Have you always been in this type of role or is it relatively new? How, no, tell us a little bit about Yeah, it's relatively new. Um, a couple of years ago, I uh, retired from my lifetime career and um, quickly within the first six months realized that um, I'm not a retiree. <laughs> so I was looking for a, uh, it's, they call it an encore, an encore um, career. And uh, I ran across this because my neighbor was in the situation. She had fallen, you know, she was elderly widow. And um, she was in a situation where after a fall, she was taken to a uh, hospital, then to rehab. Her daughter lived in Atlanta. Um, and her daughter wanted her to go into, uh, you know, an adult uh, living community rather than move back home. And um, there was a van in the driveway one day with the uh, listing, you know, showing the services that we perform, downsizing, uh, senior relocations, et cetera. And I thought to myself, what a business that's got to be. <laughs> and, uh, you know, we spent the next year researching it, doing a lot of, uh, uh, you know, getting uh, prepared. We opened up um, just around March 1st, just in time for the pandemic to hit. So, <laughs> uh, but um but the business is back, uh, not quite to normal yet, but it's picking up again. Excellent, excellent. And where, um, where is your geographic location that you're particularly responsible for? Yeah, we cover, uh, Caring Transitions is a, um, each, there's about 220 offices across the country or locations. Uh, each office is independently owned. So it is a franchise um, uh, uh, and uh, our territory, our coverage is Somerset County, all of Somerset County and parts of Union County. There are, I think we're one of seven locations here in New Jersey. So New Jersey's pretty well covered and um, you know, we're all staying busy. Excellent, excellent. I'm gonna open up real quick to uh, the field to any other questions for anyone else? Does anyone have any questions for George? I just want to comment that I'm in the process of moving myself, my husband and I, after 25 years of being in a house, mm -hmm. and it is monumental. Yeah. <laughs> it's huge. So I completely agree with you. Yeah, I have a, a project we're working on right now, um, and this is uh, typical. In fact, Dennis, could you quickly just explain what your situation was? Because it really is uh, very typical of what we run into. Sure, exactly. So um, my uncle had passed and my dad, who's 85, and my mom, <clears throat> who's uh, a little bit older than I'm at 87 or so, are um, 
are now, um, you know, uh, inherited this home <laughs> and uh, we don't want them anywhere near <laughs> going out and doing it with everything going on with COVID and everything else. My sister who uh, is in charge of this kind of situation, she's, uh, she's coming down from Connecticut. The rest of us are homeschooling, doing everything else and working with all these other factors. So we have a home and, you know, we've been around the block enough to know that there's, you know, not a lot of stuff of value in there. Uh, we want to get the stuff that is of value out and we want to um, do it as painlessly as possible for us. <laughs> we just want to um, make sure that um, all that, you know, gets taken care of um, and, and leaves us in a situation where we can, you know, do the estate return and, and get the process rolling. Um, so in our situation, although it was my father's home where his, uh, um, he, he lived there for a short period before his parent, um, before his, um, our parents had died and it was my grandparents' home. Um, it's not as painful for us because we've been away from it for a while. So, um, but it's the whole process of, there's just a million things to do, find all the papers, find what matters. Um, just the short time that we've been working on it, it's already been a nightmare. So we're looking forward to working with George. <laughs> that's the word, uh, that's the word, universal word I hear when people have had this experience is, you know, how did it go? It was a nightmare. <laughs> and and uh, Dennis, you're, what you just explained is very typical of, uh, of um, where we come into the picture. The children live remotely, as your sister lives in Connecticut. Um, and, uh, it is. It's it's an overwhelming job, and if you're uh, if you are 80 years old, uh, a widow or a widower, or even if you still have your spouse, uh, it's a very emotional, a very traumatic time of your life. So um, our job is to uh, get in there and try to relieve as much stress as we possibly can from the homeowners. How do you get a lot of your clients? They come from uh, uh, through the estate sale uh, industry, through the estate sale market. People go online and say, I want to run an estate sale. And um, uh, because we are Caring Transitions is such a big organization and, uh, you know, the largest in the country, the, those leads come to me uh, if they're in my territory. Okay. Uh, we, we get from realtors because the realtors, they... Uh, you know, they uh, want to get that house cleaned out and get it on the market and mm -hmm. you leave it up to the homeowner and you're looking at a six month to one year, you know, uh, process. So um, we get a team in there and we can clean it out in uh, two weeks at the most is uh, what it would take us. Um, and uh, so, yeah, that, that's where the bulk of them come. And we also have a very active, uh, very uh, promotion uh, department. So they do a lot of promoting uh, okay. through the website. Interesting. Cool. Thank you. Hi, I don't know if um, I'm showing on the participant list. This is Linda Marucci. I'm Lisa DeVoren's friend, the realtor. Um, okay. I had a hard time getting on today. So I, I got kind of part of what George was talking about. Am I not showing up though? You oh, here not. I am. Now, okay. this is Linda. Hi, how are you? Um, so, so George, I, I, I would really be interested in connecting with you because I came across someone who um, might be a client. I don't know if they plan to list with me yet, but the situation is um, the mom is elderly and had to move out to, um, I think, Arizona. He's, he's, he's somewhere. Uh, pretty remote. And um, so the house that he grew up in in Hillsborough is uh, right now vacant and full of, um, you know, items. So yeah, I, I would be um, interested in connecting with you perhaps to see if maybe you could help help him because he's sure, overwhelmed. That would be, that would be great. Uh, let me yeah. just quickly uh, give out uh, the email address is G, my first initial, G, yeah. my last name, Pizzo, P I Z Z O. That's like pizza with an O on the end. Yeah. So G Pizzo at caringtransitions.com. Got it. And I, let me, you. Uh, you can jot down a phone number. It's 908 666 2699. And what region do you cover? We, well, we cover. Uh, my, my official region is Somerset County and parts of Union County, but there are a lot of, even though we have so many offices here in New Jersey, there still are 
areas like Hillsboro is in my, uh, it's not in my territory, but it's open. So okay. I have done work in Hillsboro. Got it. Um, before and what how it works is we would come in as we're doing with a uh, meeting Dennis's sister this here this morning later this morning mm -hmm. and assess the situation and uh, you know after about 45 minutes we can give uh, you know talk about some of the options that you have available to you in terms of getting that house cleaned out and then give you an estimate on um, uh, you know which uh, what our services might cost Awesome. I could have used you five years ago when I had to clean out my mom's house. It is very overwhelming. Very yeah, overwhelming. It, it is. The people, yeah. we got a job going on in East Brunswick right now, and um, it's a clean out. And the people, uh, their, their mother passed a year ago, April, and uh, she lives in, uh, in Orange County, New York. And her and her brother have been working on cleaning out the house for over a year. Right. And, they still have a long way. That's when they finally, you know, raised the white flag and called us in. <laughs> yeah, and I think what happens is people emotionally get stuck, so they don't even begin the process because it's so overwhelming that they just leave it. I've, I've heard of a situation where um, someone left a house just vacant and did nothing for something like five years because they just couldn't emotionally couldn't, approach yeah. the past. Mm -hmm. In a meaningful that's way. true. Yeah, that's very true. That's uh, one of the hardest parts. And you know, sometimes we become counselors with our clients. Um, right. You know, again, we're just trying to help them through the process. Awesome. Thank you. The question is, why would anyone want to do that for a living? <laughs> right. You have to have uh, and, a special and personality. Say, yeah. Well, you have to have. You have to want to be. This, this maybe sound like a cliche or something, but. You have to, it's almost like the pay is secondary. You're really yeah. there helping these, you know, I call my, my, uh, my uh, hypothetical client is Margaret and Margaret's 80 years old. And uh, you really want in your heart, you're really there to help Margaret get through a very difficult time. Sure. If you're looking at it just as a job, it doesn't work. Yeah, you have to have a passion for sure. Right. Excellent. Well, thank you so much, George. Uh, that was very helpful. It was 